Okay. I don't know what's going on with the uh, Team USA in the Olympics in <laughs> terms of how is Steve Kerr determining who's going to play and who's not going to play. I don't understand why you just, just can't play everybody, but right now he has a rotation of 10 people. I was going to say it's 10, 10 so, players and, based and, on matchups. Yeah, and, and two people pretty much out. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, Jason Tatum was out the game before this one, mm-hmm. and they played Sudan yesterday, South Sudan, by the way, which very capable team, but the USA – they did their thing big time. So, but here's Brian Windhurst on what Steve Kerr said about Joel Embiid on the bench. It's going to continue to be this way because Steve Kerr is going to change his lineups depending on the matchup. The matchup for this game required quickness and speed. That is not Joel Embiid. They went with a faster, longer starting lineup with Jason Tatum and Anthony Davis in it. And frankly, Kevin. Just about everything Steve Kerr and USA Basketball has done in this run-up and these early games here in the Olympics is turning to gold. His lineups and his game plans are working, even though it's uncomfortable at times to sit superstar players. Mm -hmm. It's working. If you look at the way this game played out, the U.S.'s second unit was a killer unit. Totally dominated the South Sudan. The lineup that he put together in the second unit totally changed the game. The front, the, uh, the, the front line played well enough, you know, held the game down. The second unit did really well. By the way, Derek White, the guy who got criticized for being picked Reese. over Jalen Brown, Reese. Derek White's been one of the two, the team's three or four best players. So, he had a brilliant yeah, game tonight. I could have done one that. Of six players yeah, to be in double figures. And Steve Kerr said after the game, <laughs> look, this is not about the soap opera of the NBA. This is not about who's playing to get you through February and March and whatever. This is about winning the gold medal, and everything else goes to the side. He believes the team believes in that, and he also said, guess what? On Saturday, Joel Embiid will be back in the starting lineup against Puerto Rico. Kevin Durant will be on the bench. Drew Holiday, who, by the way, scored 15 points in the, in the, in the opener against Serbia and didn't start today, he'll be back in the starting lineup, and everybody's fine with it. Okay, now that makes sense. Now he should explain that when he uh, the whole Jason Tatum thing. <laughs> he meaning uh, Steve Kerr, because everybody was somewhat confused about it. I mean, mm-hmm. it's like, what is going on with that? You know. Well, he's the coach. You should just let him coach. Oh, okay. He has to explain himself. Well, tonight this is the game plan. I'm gonna sit the Earl Reese. No, I get and it. I gotta tell you why. Yeah, I get it. I, don't, I mean, hey, that's, Brian Winterhurst also talks about Team USA's win on yesterday. Let's take a listen to what you say about that. <laughs> yeah, Bam Adebayo, Kevin, was all over me after the game because I speculated that he might be the player that would see his minutes reduced to get Tatum back in the game. And all he did was score 18 points and have seven rebounds and probably the best game he's ever played for the national team. And he gave me extreme side eye for daring to speculate that he might not play. But this is the thing. This team is so deep that this is what they're going to do. And the second unit that they used in this game was stocked with great defensive players. And the South Sudan, like Serbia before them, and probably more teams after them, cannot compete with that second unit. That's where the U.S. is winning these games, and that's their plan to get to that fifth consecutive gold medal. And and, and, and they're going to win the gold medal. Does anybody Absolutely. have any, any any doubt? By the way, A-Town, good morning. How you no doing? Doubt. How good you morning. Doing? doing well, feeling good. you have any doubt that, that the U.S.A. is, uh, is going to win this tournament? Win this, uh, yeah, tournament? I mean, anything's possible, but they, they should win. Yeah, yeah. What's interesting, a few words about South Sudan is the fact that they, uh, they're they going to be really, really good uh, in about four years. First of all, they they don't they don't have a gym. They play outside. I'm not making this up. <laughs> I mean, they play outside. Yeah. And it's hot. It's a gazillion degrees. They don't have they don't play they don't have an indoor facility, so but but once they get that, and Lou Aldang, former Duke guy who played in the NBA for a long time, he's part of that. Uh, uh, Ivory is the other guy. He's, he's part of the coaching staff, mm-hmm. and they they got some players. They got the big kids coming to Duke. Uh, that that's that's a, he'll be uh twenty one. He's seventeen. <laughs> he'll be twenty one in the next Olympics. So so just look out for that. Uh, so South Sudan, Sudan, Sudan. What One you want to call watch. it? There there's somebody to watch. So mm-hmm. shout shout out to. Yeah, you can see that team developing. They got some guys in Moto and some other guys never even heard of before. Straight hooping, right? Straight <laughs> hooping. So, so I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see. I'm very interested to see how how that whole program and that country, I guess, uh, develops in uh, 
uh, in the game of basketball. So we'll Good. see. I heard a great question this morning. So now with the way that uh, they're interchanging players and who's sitting and who's not, are we watching for the game or are we watching the first thing we want to know is who's going to be benched tonight? Oh, yeah, because, I mean, that's that's the mystery of this whole thing. That's Everybody's eager. That's what everybody's going to be talking about. Because we were surprised, like, you know, Jason Tatum didn't touch the court. MB didn't touch the court. Now, he's saying KD's not going to play the, uh, Saturday? Right. I don't know about that one. But the players that, that's, that's consistently gonna, that's going to be there, LeBron, and Anthony Davis, who I, I'm, I must – Is that a surprise I, to you? I, I, no, because here's the thing. Anthony Davis is straight balling. Mm-hmm. And this is what my Lakers would like to see him, you know, throughout the course of the season. But the problem is, AD's like, I can give you six games. <laughs> <laughs> but them 82. The bronze as well. <laughs> I mean, let me, you got to start and the finish, and it's a short window. Oh, I can give you that. But the 82, uh, I'm not sure. So we should uh, have these real high expectations no, 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 since no, no, they're no. playing so that's well. That's why they won the damn well bubble. Together. You know, I, I was arguing, man, we, we had we – had, uh, at least 30, I mean, 78 conversations last night about. <laughs> oh my God, uh, about, 78. Yeah, about the NBA and and your top five. And we was down, you know, at the, uh, at the GTG uh, meeting down there with uh-huh. most cigars and just, and I just, I just threw something out there about name your five players. And that went on for a couple hours. Oh God. I mean, people got really animated because of the conversation. But my point is that, you know, you can. We did start talking about the the bubble and the Lakers won in the bubble. If you got a small window mm-hmm. for for Brian Brian and AD, then you good. You straight, but that, don't go beyond that though. <laughs> <laughs> you, you may have some problems. But I tell you what, they want to have problems with what eight, what eight towns gonna tell us right now on the Strawberry Thursday.